Hello and welcome back to the lesson 8 of the tutorial series simulating your custom robotic arm in ROS Noetic. In our previous tutorial, we had created this uh, joint trajectory controller for controlling the robotic uh, arm joints and the end effector link joints. In this tutorial, we are going to create a launch file to load our URDF file and this joint trajectory controller in uh, Gazebo. So let's get started. So to create the launch file, you need to go to your Catkin workspace, the SRC folder, your uh, robotic arm URDF package and the launch folder. So I will open a terminal and I will take it uh, to the side. Now type the command cd space the tilde slash symbol for home directory my catkin workspace name it is move it underscore ws your may be different slash src slash my my package name robot uh, underscore arm underscore urdf slash launch and press enter so it will take you to the launch uh, a folder of your uh, robotic arm next you need to type the command uh, you can if you want to create the file you can type the command touch space arm underscore urdf dot launch and also you can directly type uh, gedit space r underscore urdf dot launch so if the file is already available it will open that otherwise it will create a new file so before pressing enter button please check the name if you have uh, typed it correctly and then press enter now it will open the file here so in this file you need to type this code so I have given this generic code so if you want if your package names and joint trajectory controller file name are different uh, you can copy this file in this code you need to keep the arguments the x y z r p y values as it is what you need to change here is only the uh, code given with the purple color so or the violet color so on this line here the find your package name will be the package name of your urdf package of your robotic arm slash urdf and here this will be the name of your your urdf file uh, then uh, here we will have this spawn an empty gazebo word which will be same for you as well then we will spawn our urdf uh, file or urdf uh, package uh, everything will be same like node name spawn urdf etc only you need to change is the thing after this dash model thing here uh, this your robot arm name which is given in your urdf file so if you open your urdf file you will find the tag at the beginning robot so the name given there you need to put it here then you need to give the starting position of all the joints of your robotic arm so to define a joint you need to uh, start with dash capital J don't use small j here otherwise it will give error then space your joint name whatever the joint uh, name you have given and the position the angle value in radian so for me I am going to spawn all the joints at zero degree so I will give them zero so if uh, my robotic arm contains seven joints so I have did it seven times for all the joints if your robotic arm have extra joints you need to do is uh, like you need to go here after this uh, value and you need to add that here like uh, uh, after this you will add a space uh, dash capital J space your joint name space the value in radian then you need to launch the joint trajectory controller so here a ROS param file will be same fine here you will define the package or package name your robot arm URD package name and the file name for the joint trajectory controller that you have created and after that uh, it will have the node controller spawner so in args you need to give all the controllers that you have created in your joint trajectory controller file so mine has the joint straight controller robot arm controller and hand effector controller so if I show you the file if I open it in the text editor and if I show you the PDF so you can see I have created uh, these three controllers like the robot arm controller uh, the hand effector controller and joint state controller so the same I have given here like joint state controller robot arm controller and hand effector controller and the file name here I need to give is joint trajectory controller dot yml now I'll close this 
so to avoid the time needed to edit this i have already given you the file here so if your uh, file or your package have any uh, different names for different files you can uh, configure it as per your file now uh, i think i have accidentally closed my uh, the file uh, that i have created launch file so i will go here i will go to my launch folder and here oh so i think it has not uh, saved it so let me go here so i will keep it open again i will press the upper arrow and press enter so here is the file now paste the code that we have copied and if you don't see any color coding you can go here and change the type to like xml and double click so it will add some different little color coding so it will be easy to read so if you have different package name and different controller names you need to modify that i will use this as it is and i will save it and close the file now after you uh, create the uh, launch file what you need to do is first because we have made lot of changes to our URDF package like we have modified the cmakelist.txt, the package.xml also we have added the joint trajectory controller and we have added the transmission tags in our URDF file we need to build our catkin workspace to uh, make the changes updated so type the command in your terminal cd uh, the home symbol on, and your uh, workspace name then type the command uh, source uh, devil slash setup dot bash and press enter now to build your workspace type the command catkin space build and press enter so it will build your catkin workspace and the packages available there if you have done anything wrong it will show the build errors here so for me everything is uh, successful uh, the i my workspace only contains one package and it is successfully built so there are no errors now uh, again to launch our file we need to do the uh, we need to follow the following instructions so first thing is uh, we will uh, close all the uh, terminals first of all open a terminal and uh, here uh, type the command ros core so we will start our ros master and um, keep this terminal as it is and open a new window now uh, go to your uh, catkin workspace type the command cd uh, space home symbol slash your workspace name and press enter now type the command source devil slash setup dot bash and press enter so if you don't source this setup dot bash file you will not be able to launch your uh, package so make sure you execute this command then type the command ros launch so ros launch space your package name of your robotic arm so i will type like robot underscore arm underscore urdf and slash uh, sorry space you need to give the uh, name uh, arm dot uh, so i will type arm and i will press tab it will auto complete the command name and then i will press enter so up to this point if you have done everything correctly your robotic arm will uh, open in the uh, gazebo environment successfully without any issue and uh, here you will only see the errors for this uh, PID gain values other than this you should not uh, see any uh, error in your uh, uh, file or your uh, terminal only the error you should see is this uh, PID gain error so if you see for my package there are no such errors so if you uh, come up to this point you have successfully followed the all this step if you face any issue please go back to the previous tutorials and find the error where you have done a mistake and after that you need to check for all the errors until you successfully launch this file
so if you see my package is success my robotic arm is successfully loaded in gazebo so here if you see it is little bit offset it is little bit of uh, above my uh, uh, ground plane so to uh, to do this uh, the issue is either it will be in our launch file or in our uh, urdf file so if you open this uh, arm urdf uh, dot launch file so here uh, you can see the argument x y z r p y are uh, correct like they are zero so the issue is uh, not with our uh, launch file so i will check the urdf file so if you open this uh, in a text editor So I will scroll up here we have the base link and if you go to the joint uh, between the word link and the uh, the uh, base link you will find here we have defined some positive value for the z axis so I will make it uh, 0.00 and save it and I will close this file again I will go to the terminal which was running my simulation I will press ctrl C wait until it uh, stops all the controllers so if your file uh, spawns correctly in the work environment you don't need to make such changes but if you want to change the uh, height from the ground plane or anything you need to make the changes just like this now again launch the file and see if uh, see if it opens correctly so now if you see it has uh, successfully uh, opened here and you can see it is uh, exactly on our ground plane so this is how you can uh, solve the issues with the uh, spawning position of your URDF file so we have successfully created the launch file to open our robotic arm in gazebo in our next tutorial we will create a move it uh, manipulator package to simulate our robotic arm using rvis and move it so please watch my next tutorial do not forget to like and subscribe my channel and also share the videos with your friends who also want to learn ROS. thank you so much